Dude, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're about to talk about MSCI ESG ratings. Time to grade your ass, Edifs. Turn the lights out. No, we're going to talk about MSCI ESG, though, for real. Um, basically, it's like a metric that you can use to grade ETFs risk exposure. And we're going to take a look at uh, some of these ETFs with AMC and GME in them. And um, yep. Hey, look, it's the weekend for Citadel. Okay. MSCI index calculation methodology. If one of you out there wants to look up this and go in more detail, I'm not going to go into this very deep. Um, here's the index. If you feel like any of this information on here is interesting, I will leave this information below. However, I'm just going to go over the things that I think people will be able to understand. So let's go ahead and break this down. So we're going to be talking about the MSCI ESG fund rating, which varies from AAA through CCC, AAA through C. Now, the MSCI ESG rating is calculated as a direct mapping of ESG quality scores to letter rating categories. For example, AAA equals 8.6 through 10. The ESG ratings range from leader AAA, AAA, AA, as being average, or I'm sorry, AAA and AA are the leading rankings. And then your average rankings are going to be A, triple B, and double B. And then laggard is considered B and triple C. Now, the footnote at the bottom of the page is what brought me to this information. So I'll link everything below if you want to look further. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you that we're looking at some dog poop here. So scores, uh, scoring is from a 0 to 10 as far as your MSCI ESG quality score. Now the MSCI fund ESG quality score covers more than 2,100 equity, fixed income, and multi-asset class funds from the Lipper universe. Now I don't know if you all know what the Lipper is, but it's a, it's a rating system used to rate different index funds, mutual funds, uh, pension funds, things like that. If you go to Weeble, for example, and you type in Fidelity Contra Fund, You'll see at the top, it'll have a star system of rating, and that's the Lipper Fund rating. <laughs> so, the measure assesses funds on a scale from 0 to 10, basically, with 10 reflecting underlying holdings that rank best in class globally based on their exposure to and management of ESG risks and opportunities, while the score of 0 reflects dog shit. Well, actually, let's, let's go ahead and say a score between five or three and seven's dog shit and anything from zero to three is complete dog shit wrapped in cat shit. Anyways, the score focuses on the ESG quality of a fund's holdings, not the extent to which an asset manager incorporates ESG into its investment process. So it's basically saying F you BlackRock. We're only looking at the specific ETFs and how, you know, each one poses a risk individually. So that's the quality score. Now let's take a look at the MSCI ESG quality score peer percentile. This one, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, is uh, 58.31%. This is just the fund's ESG percentile compared to its liberal peer group. So, for example, pretend you're in high school and you, you remember when you finished at the you know X percentage of your class. Well, I finished in the bottom 10% of my class, so I would be a shit ETF <clears throat> according to this fund. Now, the ESG percent coverage, that is the percentage of the fund holdings that have the MSCI ESG ratings data. Now, basically, what percentage of this fund even qualifies for this data or is, has this data involved? So it's majority of these ETFs. So that's basically it for as far as the metrics we're going to be looking at, other than your peer groups, um, which is just the amount of peers it's compared to. So let's begin. By the way, ESG stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance Measurements that the fund uh, is measuring. So let's take a look at IJR. Dog shit. Rating is BBB, average, MSCIEG quality score, garbo, in the bottom 30%. Uh, ESG quality score is a 4.9 for dog shit. And most of the fund is covered by the MSCI ESG and that's compared against 1,396 different funds. Dog shit. What about IWM? Dog shit. 
That's right, BBB rating, average. Look at this quality score. Ugh, 12.61%, that's like me graduating from high school. More dog shit. Quality score, ugh, 4.6, terrible. ESG percent coverage, still in the 90%. IWN, well, if you wouldn't have guessed it, it's dog shit. This one's even more dog shit. Rating's the same, however, quality score, oh, Jesus, I think I finished better than this ETF did. Same amount of peer group, because it's in the same peer group. Quality score is a 4.5, coverage upper or lower 90%. Dog shit. Now what about IJT with GME? Well, if you uh, hadn't guessed, it's dog shit because uh, BBB quality score is a little bit better. It's in the upper 50s, still failing, still would have been grounded. Uh, quality score, 5.5, which is about average actually. And MSCI ESG coverage is 97.21%, the highest of them all. So what could we learn from all of this? Um, well, let's look at XJR first. It didn't have a rating. It must mean it's dog shit. 